I'm Tanner Wahab, and the topic I'm covering is Tommy John in baseball. What is Tommy John? Tommy John is a surgical reconstruction of the ulnar collateral ligament, better known as the UCL, and the inner part of your elbow. Uh, it is a process of replacing the UCL with a ligament, usually from the wrist or the hamstring. Uh, it is called Tommy John because he was the first person to get the reconstruction done to his UCL. Uh, what causes Tommy John? It's stress on the UCL ligament, uh, usually from throwing a baseball. Uh, it's from poor biomechanics when throwing, and when you have poor biomechanics, it creates high amounts of torque and force on the elbow. As you can see in the guys on the right, they're leaving their elbow really exposed when they're throwing, which puts high amounts of stress on it and usually leads to them tearing their UCL. Who gets Tommy John? Anyone can tear their UCL ligament. Uh, it's most commonly found in baseball pitchers ages 15 to 19. Uh, it's found in pitchers more often than fielders because pitchers are throwing more at a maximum effort where fielders are just usually just throwing at a lighter interval. Anyone who throws generates enough uh, force to rupture the UCL ligament, so even the guys in Little League that are throwing can uh, have Tommy John. Different severities of Tommy John. In the bottom left, I have the severity of MCL injuries. It is the exact same for UCL injuries. Uh, the first part is a grade one tear or a slight tear. At this point, the doctor will usually just have you rest and let it heal on its own. Uh, there's grade two tear, which is a major tear in the tendon. And they usually will have you surgery, but some doctors will let it heal on its own, but it'll take a little bit longer. And then there's the grade three, or where you tear it all the way, slaps, rupture it. And at this point, you must have surgery. Uh, some treatments. It's very hard to diagnose a torn UCL. They use uh, machinery like x-rays, CAT scans, and the most common one is the MRI. It usually starts with physical therapy though. Uh, the doctor will send you to physical therapy to strengthen the muscles around the UCL and strengthen your core, kind of uh, compensate for the hurt ligament. They'll have you rest, ice, and take non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs kind of just take down the inflammation around it hopefully that helps out and then the last resort is uh, obviously having surgery so here's an animation of what they do during surgery they go around and look in a little bit at the tendon with the arthroscope and the inner part of the elbow and after they find the damage they're gonna go to your wrist usually to take out the new tendon so right here they're going in making some incisions to take out the new tendon and this is about how long the tendon is when it's finally taken out. Uh, right here they're going to show all the layers that they have to cut through to get down to the injured uh, ligament and the elbow. And when they finally get down here's the injured ligament. When they get inside they're going to take out the injured ligament and then drill holes in the bones so they can weave the new ligament through. They're using a figure eight method making the H shape with the new tendon and then they're going to stitch it together to make the new uh, ligament. They're using the docking method when they stitch it and they're going to stitch it all together and after that they're done with the surgery. All they have to do is stitch up the patient and he is on his way. Uh, rehab. First thing they're going to do is immobilize, let the stitches heal, uh, kind of let the tendon get it get a feel for its new uh, spot in the elbow. Then they're going to use the mechanism on the bottom right, the brace on the right, uh, get a gradual range of motion. Every week they're going to increase your uh, range of motion until you're fully uh, back to your what you were before. Then they're going to have you stabilize it. In the picture in the top left, you can see the guy doing some stabilizing exercises. Make sure the tendon is good, everything around it, the tendon is good. Then they're going to have you do some strengthening exercises, just uh, little movements. As you can see in the top right there, the guy's using a body blade to strengthen his uh, UCL tendon and the muscles around it. After about four or five months of this, the player can get back to uh, some light, light throwing, nothing too strenuous on the elbow. Uh, after about seven months, if there's no pain, he can go into throwing hard again. And if there's still no pain in about nine months, the player can return to full competition. Mental setbacks. Uh, a lot of players are timid when they start throwing again. They're extremely scared. They're going to tear the UCL again. 
uh, some are the exact opposite. They're reckless because they think they can just have the surgery again and nothing, nothing's going to hurt them. A lot of players have the yips where they're just there's a huge mental block that they can't throw, and every throw that they do have is all over the place, and it's just not the same person. Uh, it all comes down to fear, though. They're all fear that they're going to tear the UCL and they're going to have to have the surgery again. How old were you uh, had when you had Tommy John? Neil Ryan from the Concordia baseball team who has experienced Tommy John, and I asked him a few questions. Uh, how did you know it happened, and how did it feel when you tore it? Um, I had elbow pain, and then I went and saw the doctor, and uh, he said to take a few uh, weeks off, and so I did, and when I came back, I started throwing and it felt pretty good and then there was one throw that I just felt like it my arm had a pop a popping sensation and um, so I went back to the doctor and they said I needed to have an MRI and then they did that and they said if I ever wanted to pitch again then I should get Tommy John surgery. Can you tell us a little bit about what they did when they uh, performed the surgery? Um, so they took out one of the um, ligaments from my arm um, and they and then they opened up my elbow and they took out the the torn um, ligament and they uh, drilled holes in my ulna and my humerus and then they t uh, twisted the um, tendon that they got from here um, around the, these two bones. They just tied it around there. Okay. Uh, what did they have you do for rehab? Uh, they had me doing a lot of physical therapy, um, but uh, when, I, when I first got the surgery, they had me in a cast for about two weeks, and then um, I got that taken off and I got like this robot arm looking thing and every week I got 10 degrees of, of movement further and further until I uh, got full range of motion and then um, after that it was probably about a month before I could start throwing again but during during the, the times when I, when I had the my robot arm I was doing a, a lot of physical therapy and it's just strengthening my core and stuff. So. Uh, what mental stress slash block, if any, did this cause when you came back to throwing? Um, I was a little hesitant coming back to throwing. Um, I hadn't been throwing in a while and I, I mean, I, I wanted to start throwing but I didn't want to um, stress it enough. Uh, that I would tear it again. I was I was scared that I was going to tear it again, but after a while, that that went away. Thank you, Neil, for sharing your experiences with Tommy John. To wrap it up, uh, I'm just going to do some statistics on Tommy John. Uh, some athletes think that they should get the surgery done and performed on them even though they do not have a torn UCL. They believe by getting the surgery, it will actually just imp improve their performance. Uh, the surgery itself is relatively a short surgery. It usually takes about 60 to 90 minutes and compared to a lot of other surgeries, that is very short. 15% uh, of people don't have the tendon in the wrist that is most commonly used to replace the UCL. Success rates vary from study to study, but are anywhere from about 74 to 92% in full recovery from their uh, preseason or pre-torn UCL performances. And Tommy John is also a well-known underwear brand. Uh, thank you for watching my video.